I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 13th of December, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life in Leon, Nicaragua. This being my final day in Leon, Nicaragua for the year. Oh, man, I hate that. So we are heading out in the morning at five o'clock to head to Pinas Blancas, Costa Rica, and on our way out of Central America on our way back to North America, where we will be spending the holidays with family. Uh, but we are gonna miss everybody in Nicaragua. We did not get to go see the Christmas lights this year, which the kids are very sad about because they love the Managua Christmas lights and there just wasn't time to go see them. With the move happening this week, we missed all of that. They do such beautiful nativity scenes in Managua and I really wanna try to record them for you guys next year. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best uh, to be able to get, they, they like all downtown turns into this huge nativity in all the middle of the city these big displays for Christmas it's really cool and uh, I wish I could show that to you guys because um, last year we didn't know about it and so we weren't there when we needed to be to record it we saw some of it I got a tiny bit for you but it, just extremely little and the girls really liked it they got, liked to go into the malls and seeing the the Christmas stuff that they did there the because the, they had like nativity scenes set up in the mall and all that and uh, it's just they're not used to the amount of urban decoration that they do here and it's really cool so it's something that they look forward to and they miss now here in Leon they do light up things a bit and um, it would be really nice if we could go see them tonight but uh, between everything we have going on which you'll find out about in just a minute uh, we really don't have an opportunity to do that but they do do quite a few cool lights here in Leon if you go around the city there's lots of decorations and stuff and some houses are decorated pretty well it's not like the United States where everybody decorates their houses but they do decorate to some degree it's it's done it's just it's not as extensive uh, so today is Tuesday and today is our packing day because we moved over the weekend we are still unpacking into the house and simultaneously Dominica is trying to repack into our luggage so that we can go from unpacking one thing to being ready to head to the airport like it's crazy um, yesterday I ordered my new laptop which I mentioned that's gonna arrive tomorrow it shipped last night uh, it's in progress today in progress it's on its way today and uh, they already said it's definitely going to arrive in the morning so uh, my dad will be um, receiving that and I'll thankfully know it's there once I do this video this is actually the last video I've I'm gonna make tomorrow's video is actually already done it's the first time I've done one ahead and as far as I can remember um, hopefully we'll be able to upload it I'm having issues getting things uploaded today uh, our internet is really slow um, I don't know if a lot of people are using it I don't know if I've done something to it or whatever but it's uh, I'm having an issue getting getting some of the videos up. We did really well yesterday though. So hopefully this evening it'll speed up. But I recorded ahead so that would be posted and, and just you guys will have that video and we won't have to worry about missing a day. Um, and, and yesterday's has been uploading the entire day. I recorded first thing this morning um, for yesterday and tomorrow, got them uploading and they are just finished uploading the last one and it's now downloading. Liesl is currently editing the 14th. All of the 12th isn't there yet, but should be at the time I'm done with this video. And then this one has to upload all evening and hopefully Liesl can get it edited and up on YouTube for you guys before we leave or else we don't have time to do it. So that is the panic we're under. That is how close we have to, you have to cut it like this because it's not like we can make days and days in advance. We have to kind of do what we can. And uh, today I wanted to actually be able to tell you about the day. That's what I'm about to do. So this is our hectic, our hectic last final packing day. So Dominic has been packing all day. I've been doing normal work and videos all day. Liesl had the morning off. You know, she and Luchana do her, their own packing. They are now, um, uh, Luchana is at the doctor's, which we'll get to in a second, and Liesl is doing the video editing. We also had staff at the house this morning who shifted to Managua today. Um, Paul had to go to the house in Laborio and help our new uh, air conditioning crew. Thankfully, we now have an air conditioning crew again. They had to take all the air conditioners out of there, which took all morning. That was like one o'clock, two o'clock by the time they got out here. Um, and um, then they took lunch and now they're just starting to install the air conditioners, but they forgot their ladder. It's still in the other house. So they're gonna have to go back and get that. Uh, Luchana noticed her toe was really Really bad today and so she and Dominica have now gone to the doctor so her doctor is seeing her and treating her toe um, and we had staff from Managua come in to Leon today so we had a shift of staff we also have Yao here today which is really really cool I'm not gonna get any video of her doing anything um, but she's gonna I know she'll be on the show she's been on the show previously so I know she likes being on um, once we 
uh, are back in January. I'm gonna do my best to actually have her join me on the show a bit, um, especially because she's gonna show a lot of Nicaraguan cooking because she's a Nicaraguan chef. And so there's a lot of things that she can do that we can show you guys that'll be really interesting, I think. And that's actually gonna be a lot of show stuff we're gonna be able to do because we're gonna be able to really up the food game a lot um, because she is not just a Nicaraguan cook, but she's a professional Nicaraguan chef who has worked for us as a chef for years and now we can do stuff in the house and set up cameras and lights and, and the whole nine yards and have a nice setup to record uh, her showcasing some Nicaraguan food, not just the food, but the preparation. So I'm really looking forward to that. I wanted to show some today, but that was out of the question once, once you really get a gra grasp on what the day was like. But she showed up this morning. She was here yesterday, but yesterday it was like she came to kind of check everything out. Today she's actually here and she's spending the night um, so uh, she's going to be staying with the dogs tomorrow uh, because the original plan when we made that was that Paul was going to be driving us to the border. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so she came in this morning and made us breakfast. She made gallo pinto. First time I've ever had gallo pinto at home. Uh, that was, I mean, I've brought it home. I've had leftovers, but we have someone who actually made it in the house. Never had that before. Same gallo pinto we had at the restaurant, but now it's at home. And uh, she made burritos for breakfast this morning. She knows we love burritos. Uh, so we had egg and cheese and potato burritos, or actually we ran out of potatoes, egg and cheese and gallo pinto burritos. Um, and then I had gallo pinto for lunch. I don't know what dinner's going to be, but it is our first actual day of having our chef in the house, like for real. She was there from early in the morning and she's staying and uh, that's gonna be fantastic. It's, I'm really excited about the variety of food, the low cost of food, and the healthiness of the food. This is every time I need a snack, she can make something healthy. I can't tell you what a big deal that is for me. It is going to change my life for sure. So I'm really looking forward to uh, the weight loss and general just better feeling of eating healthier food all the time because one of the things I never do is eat vegetables and fruits and stuff because they take time to prepare and I don't have that kind of time, nor am I good at it. And so she can do that stuff and I can just be like, you know, for lunch, I just want a bunch of grilled vegetables. She can be like, great, and go grill a bunch of vegetables. And then I'm happy to eat that. I'll sit at my desk and eat grilled vegetables, no problem. But when I have to go do it, it's like, well, I just gotta grab a bag of chips because I gotta sit at my, I gotta get back to my desk. There's, I never have free time at lunchtime. It just does not exist. So that's gonna be huge for me. So the big thing though today, beyond Luchana's foot, which was pretty big and the air conditioning, which is not a small thing and all the upload stuff. I mean, that's a lot going on today and the packing. Paul is incredibly sick. He's been sick for a number of days. Thought for sure he'd be fine by the time we were gonna drive uh, to Costa Rica, and that is not the case. He is extremely sick and is scared of driving that he may pass out. So we can, because it's nine hours round trip. For us, it's only four and a half hours to the border and then a 60 to 90 minute shuttle to Liberia on the other side. But for him, it's uh, a nine hour round trip starting at five o'clock in the morning, and that is a big problem. So we're not gonna do that. However, that leaves us without a driver. So at this time, we don't have a driver to take us to the border um, in tomorrow. And as I'm recording this at about five o'clock in the evening, that means we're 12 hours from leaving the house. We are not entirely packed. We don't have all the videos edited and we don't have someone to take us to the border. We have a lot to figure out in the next 12 hours. Plus it would be really handy if at all possible, if we could sleep and maybe charge some of our devices. I've got a lot of devices to charge in that window too. I gotta charge my headphones, I gotta charge my battery pack, um, I gotta make sure we have everything packed that I might need. Uh, although we're taking so little that that's not so bad, but because we're taking so little, it's easy to leave some things behind that we might need, like the microphone for the, the GoPro. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna try to use that. Like, ah, I gotta figure some stuff out and it's way too last minute at this point. Wow, so Paul is pretty sick and we are driverless. That is the biggest deal going on right now. Now, in theory, we might be okay. Ricardo, who is the taxi driver that helped me out when I was stuck at Migracion, I'm sorry, at Customs, uh, almost two years ago, and he spent three days in Managua with me, he is with uh, Dominica and Luciana right now, and he is working on trying to find a way to be able to take us to the border. So we may have an answer shortly that there's some something can happen. And if he can't, maybe Chepe can, who has been a driver in the past, but he's never driven us anywhere like that. So uh, fingers crossed someone can do it, but we're down to the wire and we don't have any definitive answers yet. So it's a little bit much and uh, it's an awful lot to go wrong tomorrow. And we were really looking forward to getting up at five, getting in the car, driving to Casa del Cafe in Rivas, 
getting some pastries and coffee, enjoying the drive to the border, and uh, knowing that nothing would go wrong. And now there's a lot potentially going wrong every every which way. Also, the air conditioning, uh, they did not manage to put that in today uh, because they forgot the ladder and they it got late in the day. So that's gonna be tomorrow. Not that it matters. We. It's not a problem at all. I'm also, by the way, really enjoying my office here has so much open windows and an open door into the house and an open door to the outside. I have so much fresh air. I don't need air conditioning in the house and it's summer here right now. So in the rainy season, in theory, it'll get cooler, although it does get more humid. That might cause a problem. I do have a fan in the afternoons because I have a lot of west facing in my room, in my office room. Um, it does get pretty warm, so I tend to turn on the fan just in the afternoon. Um, but like now it's cooling down again because it's, it's sunset. And so for the majority of the day, I'm really comfortable with no fan in the open air. It's great and it just makes you feel good. It means I can walk outside, I don't get warm, cold, warm, cold. That stuff is, is hard to deal with uh, for real. Um, being in continuous open air is, is really good for adjusting to the air temperature and being able to enjoy it. And like right now, I'm standing outside at, at dusk. It is such a beautiful breeze. Um, if I was Nicaraguan, this might actually qualify as chili. Uh, for me, it is fresh, as we say, fresca, um, which is what the drink is named after. And uh, it, it's really nice. So our evening, hopefully figuring out the driver situation. Once we know that, we're having dinner. I think Yao is cooking in the house. Luciana has already requested pasta with pesto, but we only have enough for her. Uh, so I don't know what the rest of us are going to do. Um, Paul's gonna try to sleep, I'm sure. And uh, that is about it. We are about to leave for two and a half weeks that we are going to be in the United States and Costa Rica. During that time, we will be in Costa Rica, then Texas, then New York, then Texas, then Costa Rica almost sneezed and um and that's that it's a lot for two and a half weeks it is an exhausting trip uh, but we have all of our ducks in a row for that we think um, there's no particular complex parts at this point other than getting to the border we hope uh, we're looking forward to eating burger king and taco bell tomorrow uh, and that is it that is all of it i'm going to be doing my best to record what i can in on the iphone it's going to be a lot of shorts especially over the next two days so um uh watch uh go back and look at old shorts on the shorts channel it's not the channel but you know the shorts within the channel because uh, you'll get a lot of what's going on um at that point because obviously i do a week delay on the main uh episodes that way you can follow along see that we made it okay that we figured out a driver what's going on all that stuff that will be there that is about it it's uh, no like topic for today this is just a crazy crazy day of trying to deal with getting out of the country and this is really always always what it's like in some ways you know it's really funny I do have to say that um, when I was younger, uh, maybe 15 years ago, that when we would go to another country, I remember going to England for the first time in 2007, that Dominic and I, you know, it's like this big thing. Now, growing up, going to Canada was another country, but only kind of, and it was not a big thing. You just drive over the border, you think nothing of it. So that's one thing. But when we went to the UK, it was like this huge, like, oh, do we think of everything? Oh, do we plan everything? Like, it was so big of a deal you gotta get to the airport so early you don't leave anything to chance there's just so much right and now it's like yeah we're going to costa rica then the united states and we're flying around the united states and it's just a little bit and we're coming right back and like all this stuff and it's 12 hours to go and it's like oh we don't even have a driver to the border oh we'll have to figure that out like it's so not a thing that we're leaving this country in 12 hours and it's also like yeah whatever we got this like whatever a bunch of things going wrong as a bunch of things go wrong, it's like, ooh, we gotta work on some stuff. You forget just how casually we are treating multiple international transfers coming up in a couple hours. Most people do not travel this much and would be freaking out just that there was travel. Not even thinking, not even with anything going wrong. If everything was lined up, everything was already handled, they were totally packed, everything would be by the door. Okay, we gotta head, we gotta head to the airport in, in a few hours. Everybody get to sleep, set, set 20 alarms, and we're like, whatever it's not even it's not even a big deal day like make sure you charge your headphones or something so you have something to do whatevs <laughs> all right thanks for joining me please remember to like and subscribe ask any questions leave your comments below have you done the transfer through Pinas blancas have you been going back and forth to costa rica let's hear about your experiences and uh, where are you going for christmas are you coming to nicaragua to costa rica to the united states to canada where are you going where are you spending it um get some video of the lights for us and share uh on your channels as well if you'd like to sponsor the show of course you can buy me a coffee that comes directly to me and helps out a lot i have a lot of expenses for the show right now so please consider it and uh of course 
one of these days, one of these days, I want to get t-shirts and stuff made for the show. I have no idea how to do that or what we're going to do, but I, I would like to. I think that would be really cool. At least I would like to wear them and, and then I could show it and you guys would be like, cool, he's got the beard shirt. And uh, maybe some of you would like it too. I don't know. I would like some feedback on that because it just occurred to me to mention it. I have no plans to make it, but I want to. So I want to know, what do you think? And uh, yeah, uh, share on social media, tell your friends. I will see all of you, hopefully, fingers crossed, from Costa Rica. But not because I already recorded the video, so it's not going to be there. But hopefully tomorrow, I'm in Costa Rica to see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Go ahead. I'll, I'll wait. <laughs>